stones from this kind of thing. The traps are easy enough to get. You can buy these for eight fifty nine pounds on the internet. I have my dad. Well, that's a good one there. What you need to do is find a place that they've got crayfish, a still water, like a um, lake. A lake, you know, say a carp lake or something like that, where they've got soft crayfish. Dad. Contact the guy that's there. Um, and then you get holding environment agency. So look, I'd like to fish in that thing, and they can send you little tags for your um, um, yeah, for your crayfish nets. Little things like that. You just attach to it, just so it's all it's all done properly. Yeah. If, on the other hand, you fancy a bit of fun uh, by a river or something. I mean, this was just a part of one of my Christmas tree type things in the garden, just a, a tree. So I just cut that off, put some string to it. You tie some bait to the end and you literally put that into the water, the crayfish is going to come along, grab hold of it, you lift it, you put the land in it underneath, you've got it. It's not exactly high tech, but you can get three or four kilos in one hour. They're ferocious, they're horrible little things. They pinch so, me! They do pinch they you. pinch me once. They His taste nice, which is a good thing, but I mean, for the environment side, they uh, spread disease that kill our natives, they burrow into the sides of the bank, they collapse the banks, and they eat everything. Fish eggs, the whole lot. So they will destroy a whole river. So the more we get out and eat, the better. Uh, license for this, they can't do anything about. You're not using a um, hook, so you don't need an angling license. Uh, they tend to turn a blind eye to it simply because they'd have to go and arrest every eight year old down by the pier. Why are you want doing the thing? <laughs> So you're fine, but it's quite good fun. I mean, you can do this if you're four years old, you can do this if you're eight years old. I'm not a keen fisherman. I can't stand there for two days by a bank, get a carp and then put it back I'm in. Less than it just old. doesn't doesn't appeal I'm to me. But this I really like. You've always got one that you can't quite get and you go back into and that. Literally a sting on the end, uh, the bacon on the end there. You lift it and before it touches the surface, you're under with the net and up it comes and you put it to one oh. side. Does it drop off if you lift it out of the water? Yeah, if it touches yeah. the sides, you know, they will drop off because they're not mm. they're not biting onto it. It's literally their claws mm. they're getting onto. So you got to be a little bit clever. If they see that, I mean, on a clear day, like day in a river today, you can see them actually scuttling mm. along. Oh, you got to remember, when, they, when they're swimming as well, they go backwards like a boy. But if you can see them, they can see you. So just bear that in mind as well. <laughs> It's quite interesting because you see, you put a bit of bacon and you see them kind of coming towards it, you know, out their little holes. And I just find absolutely, I've got this love hate relationship with them. <laughs> if, if, if they are too small, don't think, oh, it's a little one I'll put them back. No, get them all out. <laughs> just don't ever put them back in there. So so, they introduced yeah, they got introduced yeah. in the, are they the 60s as a farm. I it floods. I mean, basically, they get out and they can walk to the next water source over five miles. They can live out of water three or four days, no problems. They look prehistoric because they are prehistoric. They haven't had to change. They're ferocious, they're hardcore. They're mean. And they, and they rock. They're mean, they're but mean. On, on the plus side, juicy meat, fine, really nice. A photo of that, I see. It's probably a good idea because you don't Oh my see God. Loose. Like that. Oh, wow. You see them all, guys? You can come down. Oh, God, you've got a few in there. Oh, that's mine. That's Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. And how long's that net been in there? Uh, put that in, well, three days ago. Two days ago, I got them out and put them all into one. Wow. I didn't want to let risk them losing. Yeah, it's a good way of storing them, keeps them alive, yeah, doesn't it? Keeps them alive. I'm not, you know, as much as I don't particularly like them, or do like them, and don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to make the things suffer. Oh, come over the top. I'll just grab the water. So up we come. Oh, whoa. That's a lot. Oh, some big ones in there. Yeah, you've got all kinds of sizes. Some are really small, some some are like a quarter of the size of a lobster sometimes. Yeah, okay. Come on, mate. Goodness me. Make sure you don't pinch me. No, hopefully not. They look like lobsters. Yeah. You get all the meat. If you're going to grab hold of these, and they do pinch, they're not going to take your finger off or anything. Yeah, need to oh. take my brother's finger off. Do you want to run and give this to Matthew to tell him to tie it to that couple of those sticks, or you two can tie it to the okay. sticks? Yeah. We're going to. I want to show people those how easy it is. Let's go. I'll just go down to the butchers and get the bacon bits. Sixty pence for two hundred grams. 
I'll take nice yeah. bits from myself and feed the rest of them. Yeah. So when you get them, yeah. I'll find a rare good one. <laughs> he almost had me. <laughs> but see, they're not unintelligent animals, these things. They seem to, they are aggressive, really are. You see a lot of them with big claws, small claws, because they fight each other. Now these are two nice big ones. Okay, when you take them, you take them at the back here, just where the uh, tail joins, and they're obviously going to try and um, swing round and get you. There you go. Hey, Bob. But the meat's hey, Bob. in the claw and the tail. It's the same as a lobster, really. Yeah. He did rip him off, didn't he? Yeah. Oh. They are, they're vicious, they're horrible things. They really are, but I mean, they, they are prehistoric. But they're, you know, if we, the more we can get out of the rivers, I think the better. Yeah. But you can just see some with big claws, some with small claws, simply because he's come along, he's whipped that claw off, and then it kind of grows back. So, you know, that's the crayfish. And so I'm going to stick them over in the, by the camp, and we're going to put some bit of bacon on the string. And they should, hopefully, try and grab hold of the bacon, he says. It's a nice way to get two or three kilos of fresh shellfish. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Do they taste muddy? Have they been no, 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 they no, they're no, they're lovely. I'll put longer things in the chain. <laughs> yeah, some are big, some are small, but whatever happens, you don't put them back in. If they're small, don't feel sorry for them. They'll grow. They'll grow. I mean, they're, they're, like I say, they are environmental disasters, so we just need to... The best thing we can do is that everyone gets a taste for them, they enjoy going and get them, and then we can eat them and try and control their numbers. Like, I ain't going nowhere, mate. Right? You've seen the menu. He <laughs> cocked it on the way in. Oh. No, that's what we don't want. Even the little ones. That's the phrase. And then when you want to sterilise that, just leave that in the sun. It sterilises naturally. What, the, uh, the trap? Yep. Yeah. Come over here. Some big boys, isn't it? So I've got them in the shade. I don't want to torture the little buggers. Most I don't like them. Careful. 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 Okay. Wind this up a little bit. Obviously, you get it to the right length of what's suitable to you. When you're by a river, what you try and do is lift it straight. You don't want to drag it along the tool because it'll let go. You don't want it to touch the net or it'll let go. So, whatever's comfortable for you, you get it at the right length. You leave it for two or three minutes. You pull it up. You've already got at least one on there. Here's how disturbed they are. They're always hungry. Yeah, hungry. Yeah, I'll let you try and get one. In the water. Oh, big boy. I think it's in the water. Then. Just leave it for a minute in the water. Get them to oh, taste for it. Wow. You want it? <laughs> He's got it. Oh, no, oh, not nearly. Just wait, wait for one of them to really grab on. He's won a goldfish. He's got big fish. claws. Not for long. Prop them in boiling water. Mm -hmm. That's to remove the tails. You twist the tail and pull that guts out. Ah, and pop them in. Very end bit, isn't it? Yeah. Well, after you cooked them or? No, before. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, still alive. Make them scream. No, it's just with lobsters, you just chuck the whole thing in, don't yeah. you? Because, did you know, lobsters can't feel pain. Uh -huh. They scream when you drop them in boiling water. Well, that's just that's the pressure the coming air. out of yeah, them. <laughs> Got a decentralised nervous system, the no cerebral cortex. I'll pick one up. Is it 
hold a towel and you can then thread it onto the end of a stick and most of them have a fire, can't you? Can I? That's it. Can you say hi? Yeah. Hey Keep your fingers bloody well away from me. Yeah. Extreme close up. <laughs> Wait, that by my camera. What's that? I've walked my lens oh, now. Oh. <laughs> God.